Hi everyone, this is the first video in a series of tutorials using ANSYS CFD. For this, we will use the ANSYS student version that you can download freely from their website. In this video, we will install and talk about the advantages and limitations of this license. In Google, ANSYS student and select the first option, ANSYS student versions. Here we have five options, but for the course, we will use the first option only, ANSYS Student. What does this package contain? Well, ANSYS Mechanical, ANSYS CFD. This contains ANSYS CFX and ANSYS Fluent. In addition to this, AutoDIN, Space Claim, and Design Explorer. Select on Download Now. And here, select Download ANSYS Student 2021 R2. At this time, this is the latest version but for future versions, the installation process will be the same. While the file is downloaded, we will review the information of this student version. Here are installation steps. The next section is about the minimal system requirements. For example, operating system, Windows 10, 64-bit. That's very important. And here about minimum hardware. RAM, hard drive space, the computer must have a physical disk C, graphics card and driver class 3D, and OpenGL capable. The next is information about download speed. This is my case, for example, 25 minutes, more or less. And finally, in this case, is about ANSYS HPC, high performance computing, for the ANSYS student license, support two courts only. This is an important limitation for large projects, but it is more than enough for this course where we will develop simple simulation that you can replicate on the large scale if you have a commercial or research license. The next section is about the problem size limits. For example, in this case for structural physics, we have 128,000 nodes or elements. For fluid physics, we have almost half million cells or nodes. The license duration is one year. What's included? In this case, we have ANSYS Workbench, Mechanical, Autodin, CFD. This contains CFX and ANSYS Fluent. Machine, Design Modeler, Design Explorer, Space Claim, and more. That is enough for this course. Prior release, we have the previous version. You can download, but I think that is enough with the last version. Once the file has downloaded, show the folder. Now, right click and extract to folder. This will take some minutes. Now open the folder and at the bottom, right click on setup and run as administrator. Then I agree. Next, this is C disk. Next, and the installation will start. When the installation is finished, click on exit. To verify the installation is right, Go to the Windows Startup, open the ANSYS folder, and select Workbench 2021R2. If no error message appears on the screen, then the installation was successful. If a message appears to allow access, select Yes. I hope this video has been helpful, and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.